Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. What's up, Stogie Geeks listeners? Joe Hozempa here, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood, a.k.a. the Italian Styling, telling you about a little giveaway that we have going on. We've teamed up with our sponsor, J.C. Newman, this year to give back to the Stogie Geeks listener. They've been such an awesome partner so far. They've decided to give away one Diamond Crown humidor per quarter to the winner that they choose. All you got to do is... Log on to stogiegeeks.com forward slash diamond crown. Click on the enter to win button. It's really that easy. So if you're smart and you want an awesome humidor for your home collection, go to our website, stogiegeeks.com. Find that banner ad right on top. Click on it and register to win that humidor. Good luck. Welcome back to episode 311, segment 2. I am your host, Joe Hosemper. I am joined remotely with Drew over in Texas. Drew, this is our time we get to talk about what we've been smoking for Sticks of the Week. Yes, we're going to start off with the uh, Cane Daytona by Olivia. Uh, it's a Corona 6x46. Uh, so this uh, this cigar starts off with a profile in the medium uh, shape of a Corona, as I just said. Uh, wrapper, uh, Habano, uh, and then uh, in Nicaragua, origin is Nicaragua, binder Nicaraguan, and filler Nicaraguan. Uh, taste notes on this cigar kicked off with some coffee notes. Uh, definitely uh, a lot of rich uh, notes of of, uh, of of spices coming through. Uh, I found the cigar to be very, you know, very enjoyable. Uh, you know, uh, after dinner, um, it definitely uh, you know came through with leather, uh, no leather, and a bit of easy on the pepper. Uh, and then towards the end, the, the latter third. Uh, came through with some sweet uh, tones of caramel uh, on the finish. Uh, this cigar, you know, for me, uh, you know, it 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 it, it very rich, uh, flavorful, uh, very smooth. Uh, I think everything there uh, in 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 the binder uh, uh, wrapper uh, binder filler uh, came through very smooth and balanced. Uh, this one I rated it a uh, so so geeks rating of fiber, uh, definitely. You know, something that would keep in a regular rotation, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm a fan if it's in a smaller ring gauge. Yeah. Or dare I say, getting close to the uh, Cane Daytona Lancero. Oh, the, the, okay. So well, that one, I, haven't, I haven't got my hand on that one yet. Yeah, Cane Daytona, Lancero, I believe if you smoke that, your rating would be higher. But yeah. uh, to me, I, I honestly think it's a ring gauge thing. You know what I mean? It's it's like, you know, if it's, a, if it's slightly smaller. But it does very well, and it is a good stick, and I agree with that size, that stick, four or fiver for sure. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's, it's a solid fiver. But... If you can ever get yourself, if you ever get yourself your hands, it goes my medicine head again, right? If, if you can ever get <laughs> your 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 hands on a Cane Daytona Lancero, I would guarantee that your rating would be higher for sure. Oh, definitely, you know, I'm gonna be searching out for those for sure. Yeah, good luck. But well, I'm sending <laughs> I'm sending you on a mission, right? Yeah, I'm sending you on a mission. I don't even know if if you're if you're gonna be able to get going on those. Those, those are those are pretty dated if you find them. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I understand, that's probably why I haven't been able to find them or any of my friends been able to locate them. But uh, yeah, they were telling me for sure that uh, history uh, shows that the smaller ring gauges were definitely a lot more pleasant and and definitely a lot more, uh, 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 you know, easier uh, on the spices and things of that nature. So, yep. For sure. Quick announcement. Drew has an email. D-R-E-W. Drew at StogieGeeks.com. You can email all of your complaints to him and all of your positivity to me. No, I'm only kidding. You can, <laughs> you can, you, if you want to email Drew, ask him some questions on some pairings and stuff like that, 
please, uh, Stogie Geeks listeners, uh, email him at drew at stogiegeeks.com. You can follow him on Facebook and Twitter. If you follow Drew on Facebook, uh, he posts. Uh, you're, you're pretty aggressive on those on those posts. Uh, right. Every right. morning, you're giving your, your, your thoughts on that. You know. Monday through Friday, yeah, and you know what? We must be doing okay, uh, doing fine, because we're uh, we're not getting any complaints, so that that's good. Uh, on the other hand, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, Monday through Friday, I do the morning sticks uh, and share it with all our listeners and anybody that follows us, and uh, it's pretty cool. You know, I've gotten I've gotten some good feedback on Instagram and uh, and Facebook for sure on those. Cool. My question is: Are they a prequel to what you're going to be reviewing, or is this in addition to? No, that's just an addition to it's kind of it's kind of neat. Uh, someone was telling me that, you know, you know, they would they were trying to buy cigars like for the morning, midday and afternoon. I'm like, well, no, you, you can pretty much, you know, have them, you know, as long as, you know, you do the right things. I mean, if it requires some having a meal before some of the heavier, uh, uh, darker uh, blends uh, or full body blends, excuse me, uh, medium. And then uh, on the lights, of course, just, just you know, coffee uh, or your beverage of choice in the morning, even an energy shake if you're done with your workout and you want to go out to the patio and have a, have a cigar for sure. Yeah, man, quick question for me. Are they done in your cigar in and you're chilling because you're waking up at the early hours? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah? 4.30 in the morning. 4.30. <laughs> Every morning. It's way Every too morning. early for me, man. <laughs> 4.30. It's still it's dark nice. out, right? It's still oh, it's dark the, out in yeah. Texas at 4.30 in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah, it's nice. Our sun doesn't come up anymore until now seven thirty. Yeah, about. same here. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, yeah. yeah every, it, you know, it's quiet. I got you know animals, just kind of running around. So it's pretty cool. You got animals? Cool. There you go. Well, roaming around in the garden? No, I'm talking about like we got some uh, fowl. So there's some fowl. Uh, oh, all right. That, uh, come through seasonal fowl. Well, I didn't so, know if you had like giraffes, elephants, desert out there, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> My red healer would be going crazy over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, you know, when uh, a cigar company or uh, a, a host, either on Story Geeks or another show, whichever, or somebody I'm following posts something, I always like uh-huh. to try to get their mindset as to you know where, where they are, you know, when they're posting it, you know. So oh, yeah. if you want a uh, super cool cigar views or Drew's opinion, you can follow him on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you forget. His handle or whatever, email him at drew at stogiegeeks.com. There you go. My email, joe h stogiegeeks.com. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, other than the feed on Twitter, I'm enjoying Twitter more than Facebook, for sure. Uh. It's quick. I'm in and out. There you go. But when I go to follow people and track, I don't know, there's like settings and, and it's getting rowdy. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? But anyway. That's my social media tidbit there. You can follow us uh, there. I had um, the Diamond Crown Robusto number two. Mm. Um, this, you know, I'm, I'm excited that J.C. Newman had uh, became a, 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 a partner and sponsor here at Story Geeks because it allowed me to uh, rekindle myself with some of their stuff as opposed to chase new, 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 new. And when you talk about the Diamond Crown, I mean, it's been around forever, right? Uh, yeah. In regards to this, they have a Figurado number six, available sizes. They have a Robusto number two, a Torpedo number eight, and a Robusto number three. I have had all the sizes. Uh, I'm still a fan of the Diamond Crown Maduro uh, for sure um, here. But in regards to components for this review, your wrapper is a Connecticut Shade Naturel, uh, Connecticut Broadleaf. Uh, your binder is Dominican Republic. Your selection is five is uh, a selection of five different fillers from uh, Caribbean, Central America, and it's been aged for five years. It's available in sizes one through eight, so it's Diamond Crown one through eight. Uh, there, I've had. The uh, seven and a half by fifty-four size. I've had the five and a half by fifty-four. I'm I'm digging that solid fifty-four uh, yeah. uh, ring gauge. Anything bigger, uh, it kind of just to me it loses its 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 uh, taste uh, there and what they're trying to accomplish. But super cool stick. It's got pretty decent ratings uh from uh cigar aficionado it's in it's in that lower 90s uh there it's definitely a a a stick that you can go to um 
I'm a, a fan of the Maduro more uh, there. But uh, I mean, I I'd, I'd, I'd give it a box split. I mean, they're, they're really cool sticks. Uh, tasty. Um, to yeah. me, on my palate, they're just a scotch more milder uh, yeah. than than what I like. Uh, I really like the complexity of the Diamond Crown Maduro over over the regular uh, Diamond Crown Connecticut uh, shape there. But uh, coffee in the morning, relaxing. If I was ever up at 4.30 in the morning like you, <laughs> that would probably be the stick that I would gravitate to. But since I try to get up at a super cool uh, 601, and yeah. the reason why I say 601 is my alarm is set for 601, and my awesome son, uh, never, uh, I never need the alarm. He's up at like 10 of 6 uh, there. But today he slept till 601 because the alarm went off before him. So nice, you know, you gotta feed him. You gotta feed him before he goes to bed. You gotta, That's you know, right. you gotta get him to have that extra ounce of milk or whatever is 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 there. And 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 like last night he was he was before he went to bed he was eating some Cheerios and and, and doing that. And I was like, yeah, have a little bit more, kid. <laughs> so we got up at six oh one today. So I I slept in, you know, I slept in. Nice. But yeah, but in regards to a rating, I would give it a fiver. Uh, great stick, taste well, like I said, but the Diamond Crown Maduro is more my speed. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's a nice stick. Uh, uh, had a few of those, uh, and yeah, it's, it's definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm in your wheelhouse at, at being a fiver. Uh, I think I told one of my guys at, at the lounge, if they ever wanted to do a box split, let me know, and I'll pitch in, and we'll do that. For the Diamond Crown Maduro or for the regular Diamond Crown? The, the Diamond Crown Maduro. Yeah. The di- and, and for Maduro, it has a really old school sweetness to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I'm like, wow, like I'm, I'm, I, I really dig it. It's a, and, and, and that's a good stick in the morning as well, for sure. It is. Yeah. 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 Cool. So, yeah. I went, out, uh, I went into is the Southern Draw uh, Ignite 2019. Yes. Uh, 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 Navy Seals Foundation uh, release. Uh, 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 this 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 cigar came out uh, this year, but they've had several uh, uh, pr- prior to this. Uh, this is a profile; it's a medium plus uh, side, uh, which I like. I like I like I like the uh, the heavier body uh, cigars uh, with the wrapper of the Corojo uh, 99 Honduras, the binder Corojo 99 Nicaraguan, and then the filler being a Corojo 99 uh, Nicaragua and Honduras. So this cigar, you know, definitely uh, for me. It came through nicely. Uh, I had the Rothschild uh, five and a half by fifty. Uh, so size wise, this 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 cigar was very flavorful. Uh, the uh, the the note came through uh, co- uh, cocoa uh, wood and uh, you know cocoa and wood at the beginning. Uh, it did lend to some of the uh, uh, a little bit of coffee notes, but not not prevalent until later on. Uh, and then on the second third, I started to go through with that leather and, and, and just very uh, aromatic smoke. Uh, just really nice uh, spice there, uh, but not too over, not too overbearing where it was going to come through and give you like a baking spice or anything like that. Uh, and then uh, and then the coffee kicked in at the later uh, at the last third uh, of the cigar kicked in uh, to the point where uh, I kept getting the coffee, the bounce back between coffee and the nutty finish. Uh, like a nutty finish to that. And, uh, uh, so that, that cigar for me, uh, uh, came out to be a, a, a box worthy. So, uh, price on this, uh, two things on this, uh, on this particular release is that it comes in a 10 count, uh, uh, humi jar. Uh, and it's also tied into the cigars, uh, for warriors foundation. So, uh, you know, that, uh, so some of the proceeds of the sale go to that, and, ben- and and it also uh, benefits the Navy Seals Foundation as well. So there's there's a multi uh, uh, service tie to it. Uh, each cigar, from what I understand, seventy five percent per cigar uh, is donated uh, to the Navy Seals Foundation. Um, so pretty cool, uh, uh, you know, teaming uh, of the uh, of the of, of this uh, cigar project. Um, but uh, yeah, really love this cigar. And definitely, we'll be getting some more of these. Yeah, I I reviewed it a couple of weeks back, and and I agree with your assessment. You had gave it a box worthy. I think I was at a box split off the mm-hmm. top of my head. Um, there, 
Um, I like the progression of Robert Holt. We had the yes. the conversation. We had him here on Stogie Geeks. Uh, a super cool story, how he got started, uh, the names of his cigars. And what I like is it, 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 the stick – uh, is showing development like the 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 Southern Draw brand is showing development. They're making more complex uh, uh, sticks that have come out and uh, getting better uh, there. And Robert Holt, you're more than welcome to come back on Stogie Geeks if you want to. But uh, he's been spending some some time uh, on 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 some other shows, so uh, yeah. I guess he's he's a little bit uh, too busy for Stogie Geeks. I would love to have him on for a second interview. So uh, for those of you who know him, you can reach out uh, for sure. Uh, I want to talk about the, the progression of his company and oh, yeah. where, where it's going. And I love the fact that he seems to be the type of guy. And, and um, judging from the interview from when we met him, uh, he was out of the industry and then he got into the industry. He was in a totally different industry. And he seems to have, have found uh, his, his niche and his sticks are, get, uh, are, are, are developing uh, for the better. And they're getting more complex than his original releases. And uh, I'd love to have a second level conversation on that uh, there. But I agree with your assessment. I'd, I'd go box, bo- box split, uh, yeah. bo- box split with a friend. Um, and I think it's super cool that you can uh, do stuff with organizations as well uh, and help them out uh, for sure. Joe, so. remember when during that interview he, uh, he, he brought us through like the cigar factory, like the tour? Yes. Remember, yes. I remember we were saying like you, we felt like we were there. Yeah, yeah. Because how Robert, well he described Robert, it. Robert Holt and, and, and you, know, you, bring, you brought up a great point, Johnny. Like Robert Holt gave us a great visual uh, from not being in the industry and describing – his uh, cigar factory experience to the Stogie Geeks listener. And, mm-hmm. it, you know, as opposed to someone who we just interviewed in our first segment, Ram, who's grown up there. Um, but it was yeah. interesting how in, 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 in Ram's, Ram Rodriguez's interview, how, you know, he, he brought it up to the process of, okay, they, they closed the box, tr- the, the box truck or whatever, Mack truck, whatever, 18 wheel, however they ship them. And then yeah. they go, and then it comes into our world. Uh, there. It was interesting to, to, to get his perspective. You, you brought up a good point, Johnny. I should have asked him um, to, to elaborate more, more on the fields. But, uh, yeah, uh, getting Rob, Rob, Robert's perspective uh, there was super cool. So Super uh, nice guy, too. Super nice guy, but he's found some new love. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, he's been spending some time, been spending some time in some un, un, unfamiliar places. For, he's not for us, so uh, he's welcome back to, to come on the show uh, there. I had the uh, a brick house Maduro, right? Um, fan of the brand, pre JC Newman sponsoring the show, totally fan of of the brand. They hit it out of the park. Give them five dollars, and all you need is a comfortable chair. I I love that advertising. Uh, it tied into our first interview of you know making a stick. Mm-hmm. How um, they made a stick called the Buffalo Ten, not JC Newman. Our interview, Ram, uh, Ram Rodriguez, uh, mm-hmm. doing that there and 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 getting into that lower price point stick that some people might might shy away from. You know what I mean? And and uh, if you are familiar with Brick House, uh, they 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 have a Maduro. Uh, it's available in in a traveler. It's available in a bunch of different sizes. You have the traveler, super convenient. It's in a tube. Makes great for a wedding or outing or golf or whatever. Uh, it's available in the Corona, the Mighty Mighty, the Short Torpedo, or called the Short Torp. Uh, yeah. That's five and a half by 52. It's a great size. Uh, they uh, torpedo shape. Um, there, it's available in Churchill, Toro, Robusto. Fan of it in the Robusto, five by 54. They have the Teaser, which is kind of like a nub, right? No trademark intended. It's a smaller yeah. the Teaser. Um, three and a half by fifty-six, uh, there, and a, a Corona Lager, which is a, a six and a quarter by forty-six. I'm a, f- I, I love it in that size as well. Um, there, um, your wrapper is uh, Ecuadorian Havana seed. Uh, wrapper and binder are Nicaragua. I gave you the sizes. Uh, Brickhouse, like I said, you, you um, you get a. A, a, a really sweet Maduro spice with this cigar. Uh, you get a little bit of pepper when it comes through. When you're about halfway through that stick, it just kicks in. Uh, it's ultra tasty, um, for sure. 
Uh, and so uh, that being said, it's a great stick to pass around to friends. Entry level, trying to get into that there. It doesn't break the bank. They will be uh, most pleased with, with uh, your offering. And uh, give them $5 and a comfortable chair, and Brick House will set you on, on your way for sure. Yeah. Uh, Rating-wise, I mean, I, I'd, I'd have to go box split on this for sure. Um, yeah. You know, box worthy. I don't know if I would probably shovel through 20 of them in a year. I'd judge them by how, how I would go, but I would definitely sh shovel through 10. Uh, JC Newman has a mighty, mighty sampler out there as well. Um, which uh, has uh, the different blends that Brick House has to offer. You could pick those up at your local retailers if they're not there. You could probably go online for you Stoic Geeks listeners that are in the hot spots like Southern Florida or Texas or mm. uh, Atlanta, Georgia. For sure, you can get some of the samplers there. I don't know how, how, how retailers feel about some of the samplers, but um, you, you could pick those up online and uh, – that's a pretty cool journey to kind of get all of what they have to offer uh, yeah. there. They, they also have another sampler that has uh, Brick House and that Perla de Mar uh, that we discussed as well. Yeah. You know, definitely pick those up if, if you have a chance. And who knows? I mean, you know, I, I would pick that up for a golf outing or a barbecue or fishing with a couple friends and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, all day uh, if you're around. And you happen to come across a Rick House Madero, definitely pick one up. I'd give it a uh, box split. Nice. I was going to say on that topic that we were talking about uh, these 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 lower price uh, premium sticks. I mean, because they're still a premium cigar. And I was just talking to someone uh, yesterday about you know because they're 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 getting into the into the uh, cigar uh, culture and you know and I was telling them I said yeah you know get in with these entry sticks for sure you know try them out. Uh, with the boutiques, you got a lot of them. And then plus you got your classic facings, but, you know, develop your palette and then figure out, you know, without breaking the bank, you know, and, and, and for sure go for those sticks that, that are, you know, the five, that $10 range. And, and then from there start getting into some of the other more facings that they have and gradually graduate, you know, um, you know, in, in the price range. Yeah. Yeah, and find out what you like, you know. If you've had exactly. a brick house and you listen to Story Geeks, email Drew at storygeeks.com or tag him in a picture, share a picture and whatnot. I, 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 I think it's a super cool brand that, you know, you, you again, doesn't break the bank and you will be impressed by what they have to offer. Right. So, hey, I, so I tried this Alvo Domain. You know, I, I, I've heard of them always uh, and I, and I believe I've come across a few through my, in the last six, seven years. Uh, and then, uh, I've, somebody, uh, a friend of mine gave me a, he, he had, he had bought a box. So he gave me a few. And, uh, so I've been smoking these for the last month and a half. And, uh, so what I got here is a six by 54 perfecto. Uh, it's around $14 stick. Uh, the wrapper is a, uh, Ecuador Sumatra, uh, English market standard. Uh, the color on this is like a medium brown uh, profile. On this, uh, I would say more on the f uh, medium to full, uh, you know, for me, uh, uh, Dominican Republic binder or the origin is uh, Dominican Republic filler is uh, Dominican Republic. So again, uh, earthy uh, on the taste notes on this one, uh, earthy with uh, notes of cedar, uh, definitely transition through after about two minutes, uh, you know, enlighten the cigar. Uh, and then, and then this, uh, uh, sweetness started to come through a little creaminess in the cigar, uh, smooth. And then, uh, finally was able to point my finger on it and just come up with the almond, uh, you know, nice creamy almond, uh, uh, uh smoothness that was coming through, uh, spice of cinnamon definitely started to kick up. Uh, and then we started getting into some, uh, woods, uh, and again, it, it, I think it was the cedar, but it was just a little bit, uh, lesser and, 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 strength. Uh, and then from there, you know, it finished off with the, with the caramel and, and cocoa, uh, but still with that almond in there as well. So that this cigar had me uh, definitely wanting more of it. So um, look, you know, so I put a search out to get some more for sure in my box uh, i rated this one a uh, fight chuck norris for um this is a stick like i said i i enjoy it and i i can definitely see me enjoying two or three of these a month uh throughout the month uh all year long 
Uh, so for me, it was, you know, for me, I'm going to fight Chuck Norris for it mm. uh, if I have to. Your rapper is Ecuadorian Sungrown. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sungrown. It's a medium and brownish color. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of reddish in there, but not, you know, but it was more on the brown side. Mm -hmm. for sure that come out salty a little bit salty on your palate it did yeah so so at the at the tip i got a little bit of sweetness of the cedar when i was when i was taking it in and then as i got to the back of my palate it started to get into that saltiness and then into the sweetness deeper in you know uh, uh you know uh as it was uh as i was searching out those other flavors that were there for sure um but yeah yeah and i've that, i've had that I, stick i've had that stick uh you gave it a fight, Chuck Norris. I I I would give it a higher rating. Um, yeah. I I I would go. I I probably go box split, box worthy. Box split. Me, okay. uh, there. But sun grown. I'm getting into the sun growns. Yes. Yeah, uh, I've been really uh, getting. It. I've been really digging those lately. Um, what do you think that I would pair with the Avo Domain? Oh, the Avo Domain for sure. Uh, what are you talking about? Are you talking about coffee or are you talking about i don't anything? know if i were to sip something okay. uh, i'm thinking of something what do you think i'm thinking of well, well, well let's see uh on this one right here i i definitely would do uh well on, on the liquor on spirit side I, I would definitely go with a uh, uh a bourbon for sure yep. uh and and uh you know the bourbon with uh with with you know currants and and just have that have that that mixture you know i'd make sure to have that that currants that i'm looking for in that bourbon uh uh and coffee i definitely would pair this one with a uh a, a more of a, a sweeter coffee uh s something more of a, a latte you know with some sweet cream in it sure uh, uh beer i definitely would go with an ipa uh uh more on the floral side of an ipa yep. so i would yeah that's exactly what i would pair it with yep i would go with a bloody maria Bloody Maria, yes. Which is for those of you story geeks that don't know, uh, it's a Bloody Mary with instead of vodka, you have tequila. Oh yeah. And next door they make a hell of a Bloody Maria, but they have this mix on the rim. It's uh -huh. a, a pepper and salt mix that they're doing the, the dip and and doing that. Tahin, and, tahin, is it tahin? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know what it is, but it, it, it's a mixture and it's awesome. And when you're yeah. doing sun grown. When they're doing sun grown, I, I, I mean, I, I love Bloody Marys. We all know that uh, for sure. But yeah. uh, a Bloody Maria with this. The tequila kicks it in. It's a certainly good smoke. You gave it a fight, Chuck Norris. Look at you. Oh, yeah. You know, what I like about Avo, all kidding aside, like, I, 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 you know how, like, I can give a, uh, I can articulate a thought and say, okay, you have the Davidoff hay. You can taste that, right? You taste mm -hmm. that. Most of the Story Geeks listeners understand that. Uh, cigar smokers understand that. But Avo, they have a freshness to them on the palate. Like the they smoke, do. the smoke is fresh. I, I, I know that might sound kind of crazy or whatever, but the smoke is fresh on the palate. It's awesome. I love it. You well, let's say that. That cedar was like, it was crisp. I yeah, mean, it, it was like, it, it, there you go. It, 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 yeah, it's unique. It was, it's unique to Avo. Yeah, and it's just one of those. I mean, I was, I was even thinking, you know, apple. You know, I was thinking – something there you know in that in that line like a you know apple you know I, i'm saying like apple bark or something like that but yeah it has a real nice crispness crispness yep fresh to it uh for sure yep avo is fresh on the palate and if you're looking for a beer that is fresh on the palate peak organic ipa p-e-a-k like okay. a peak of a mountain yeah. peak of, have you ever had an organic ipa uh, you brought have. it up because of the IPA. I probably have. I just it's ridiculous. It's like it's like freshness meets the beer. It's amazing. Yeah, and I'm I don't know. Sure I have. I don't know if it's a hell of a good marketing on the label, but Peak Organic IPA and that cigar I think would go very well. But I'm thinking the Bloody Maria. Yeah, <laughs> Bloody Maria was a good. That was a good. That was a good touch right there. Yeah, man. Yeah, I love Bloody Marias. You know, maybe I'll get mm. one after the show. I think so. There Yes, you're off the call. You're off the cold medicine, right? I'm off the cold cold medicine. I struggled through last last episode, and I was like, I'm going home. Like I'm done. You know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> done, smoked out, done out, done. And and now I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to feel better yesterday. So yeah. nice, nice. What? Uh, you have a couple more? 
So uh, I have one. You said you wanted to talk about one I have on here. So here it is. The La Sarina yeah. Mermaid Anniversario. 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 But I'm trying to say it with the Mexican, uh, with the Latin flair, but I, I just can't get that tongue to roll right now. Uh, Anniversario. Uh, but uh, Anniversario. There you go. Anniversario. Anniversario. Gotcha. <clears throat> Which go. stands for the mermaid. Stands for the mermaid. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, this was a five of uh, five and three quarter by fifty four robusto. It's about a twenty two to twenty six dollar stick from my searches out on the uh, out on the uh, web. Uh, so this wrapper, I mean, is a San Andreas Negro, and I know we were just talking about some Negro uh, uh, binders, mm. uh, and then uh, the binder Mexican Carrillo ninety eight, and then filler. So get this filler: Brazil, Dominican Republic, Mexico, and Nicaragua. So. Man, when I when I first got these sticks, I was like, one, I was happy as hell because uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get them because I had put a search out and finally some people came through. This is my and question: I, Where the hell did you find these? My buddy found them, so he's he's in Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, you there? Johnny, he's talking about you know the poster above my desk that you always talk about. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That brand. Yeah. Oh. Just to give you some context is what the hell we're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. L- l- so like, he- Drew put this in the story of the week, and I, at the six of the week, he emailed me last night. I didn't look at it till this morning. And I'm yeah. like, where the hell did he, for the first thought I had, is where the hell did you get these? So, this company in the Northeast fell off the map. Right. No, this, this, uh, a friend of mine in Monterrey, Mexico, he's got, I mean, he's got a humidor you would not believe, and he's got a collection, and he's got, an impressive collection of some really classic cigars. And, and, and I'll tell you, uh, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get down there and, and, and put on my, my, my black outfit with a bag and go in there and kind of pick what I want. Just pirate <laughs> that shit. You got it. Yeah. But anyhow, uh, yeah. Taste notes on this one's espresso. I mean, deep espresso comes through, uh, almost on the border of a coffee bean. Uh, but it was, it was just really nice. Uh, the, the chocolate, um, you know, I was, I mean, the chocolate that just came through, it just ran really rich and just, it, it had a little bit of bitterness to it, but not, not, but, but not too, not too much just at the end. Uh, but then I could have been tasting the oak as well. That came through as well. That was coming through on this uh, nutmeg, uh, uh, cinnamon. Uh, I'm going to say a combination of baking spices, uh, but the nutmeg and the clove and the cinnamon really came through. Um, I feel more than the other baking spices, uh, very earthy and just, I'm, I'm not sure if it's maybe the way he was storing them. Cause like you said, these are, these were just something that he just told me, Hey, have you, have you tried any of these before? I'm like, no, you probably were like, what the hell is it? Right? Yeah. 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 And I thought, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, and he, he's telling me, Oh, it's, it's, it, it's a pretty good stick. I mean, he goes, it's, it's, it's well regarded in the collection mm. for collect for collectors. So I said, oh, okay. So he goes, yeah, he goes, I, I got, I got, I, I think he said he had something like uh, it was only a thousand made, I believe it was, mm-hmm. or something like that. But yeah, he was telling me he's got uh, close to a few hundred of them. So yeah, so I, I, I definitely, uh, yeah, when he when he was willing to part with a few of them, I I I, I didn't say no. So so anyways, uh, the story gig rating on this one was uh, I had to put try one because you can't really find them, but. I mean, but maybe there's a collector out there that will let you know let them go, or, or maybe you'll just hit that one, you know, brick and mortar that may have one, or you know, I'm not sure about online, but uh, the the guy I got him from, I mean, he he takes care of his collection and uh, he really shows it, uh, yeah. in the products that he sent me. Uh, so yeah, the uh, this this cigar, uh, if you can find it, definitely get get it and try one. Um, I'm not sure how you know where you know if they're even you know uh out there like every year or every other couple of years or what it is but he said he didn't know either uh my source and he just said that hey you know they're they're they're, they're definitely uh, a cigar to try mm. uh now if you can get them uh yeah definitely if you can get them then you would definitely get that up to a uh a, 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 a box worthy for me so okay so you all right that's why i'm shocked about the rating so you're giving it a try one 
because you don't want to send the Story Geeks listeners on a wild goose chase. Right, right. I mean, you're I gonna have you. you're gonna All have right. to search this one out. And if you can find a, I mean, if you can find a box, definitely get it. I mean, grab it. I mean, just don't be don't be uh, shocked at the price. Yeah, <laughs> the price now, point on this. Yeah, when you brought the stick up, I was like, where the hell did he find it? Just to give just to give the Story Geeks listeners some context, um, Paul Azadorian had interviewed this cigar company. Uh, it's on the Story Geeks website. Um, April 28th of 2014. Mm. So Paul has a whole interview there. Uh, so if you go to storygeeks.com and you type in La Serena, spelled S-I-R-E-N-A, you can have all of the different ratings um, that uh, previous host uh, had had given them, and you can uh, Paul's interview comes up in the queue um, there as well. So that's why I was like, "Where did you get these?" That's a, like <laughs> uh, like like, it, 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 and you know, and again, you're uh, in a different section of the region than I am. You being in Texas, I'm like, are these still around? Like, where did you get this? So Drew knew a guy who knew a guy who referred him to his old humidor, and he got himself some sticks, and there you go. And so, oh, yeah. so if you know a guy who knows a guy, go and get some. Uh, oh, and if you know, and, and they've been aging for a while. Yeah, know? he's actually got a. F- uh, I'm actually. Uh, I don't know whose birthday's coming up over there, but I got a few more coming to me uh, to share with you guys. So yeah, uh, they should be here soon. Yeah, and I've should... I've had the original. Uh, yeah. I'd give it a fiver for sure. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I I haven't fully reviewed it. Because they were on the tail end of when I st- – I mean, keep in mind, Paul interviewed them in 2014. Yeah. They had their little boom. Not saying that they're not around anymore or whichever. But, you know, when I jumped in here uh, January 2nd of 2017, it was kind of like a um, I'm moving forward type type thing. But, yeah, that's why uh, – so you gave it a try one because of yeah. the wild goose chase factor. Okay. Right. right. Well, just because – yeah, just because of the availability of that yeah. uh, for sure. But uh, from what I understand, uh, talking to the gentleman, the, the source that I got him from, uh, you know, he was telling me that there's there's something uh, coming back in the in that in that brand in that uh, that that name that brand name. So I'm not sure exactly what he meant by that, but he said definitely there's something coming through. Also, uh, in a lot of the cigar magazines, uh, I believe Cigar Fish and Auto, uh, they're they're still rating the cigar. I mean, from mm. from what I was from what I was being shared with, sure, uh, with some of the with some of our uh, followers online. Uh, through the social uh, media platforms. Sure, sure. So how, how did, again, you somebody hit you up on social media, you met this guy, and he gave you the stick. Is that, is that the story? No, 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 no. Okay. It's, a, it's a friend of mine. It's a friend of mine from California. Okay. Uh, he, he, I, was, I, was, I was searching out this stick, and I sent him one. He lives over there in Orange County. And, uh, and so he, he goes, oh, I know. I know a guy who's got those. And so and he goes, he's a good fishing buddy of mine down in Monterey, Mexico. So he called him up, and then, I called him up and then we hooked up and then we talked about, you know, getting some of those procuring some of those sticks. And, and of course he's, he sent me a, like, he's got a list of, of, uh, of a collection. So he sent me that, that uh, I'll share with you. Uh, that was go, my next question. Email me we, can go, we can go through and check off what we need or like to have. <laughs> yeah. Email me a list. Um, sending you on a mission. Uh, with your contacts, see if you could find someone that has a tatuaje pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin. Yes, mm. sir. I've heard it. I think I've heard of that. Will pay handsomely for those. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am such a fan, and it's not a phase. I'm craving a tatuaje pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin. Okay. Yes, sir. It's on my list. I went to a Story Geeks rampage when Paul had bought a bundle. Uh-huh. And um, that cigar is the creation of Paul's F off section in this humidor. But anyway, nice. that is Joe, that is like Joe's. I, I love that stick. And that's a super cool stick. So if you get yourself yeah. some hands on some pork tenderloins, you let me know. All right. Uh, that could be a mission. That could take you a couple weeks to go and get. Uh, anyway, I had... Uh, and you gave that stick a try one because of the unicorn factor. Got Just it. Just because of the unicorn factor, exactly. Otherwise, I'd be I'd be buying box if I if I can get my hands on them. Yeah, yeah. What uh, I don't know, price point? You weren't even able to. to yeah, it's like to... twenty two. I, I from what I was sure. being told, they're they're around the five hundred. 
a box. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Hmm. Interesting. Interestingly enough. Let's let's move on. I've had the My Father La Gran Ofreda Toro. Hmm. Interesting smoke. Um it's available in five different sizes. Lincero, Toro Gordo, Torpedo, Toro Robusto. I had Robusto and Toro. Uh I have a torpedo lined up. Uh I, I will get to that uh as well. But um uh can't find too many in, in, in the Lanceros on the retail uh side. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately if 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 you are a Lancero lover, sometimes you have to go to the online sources. Uh, there, that's been. It's funny when we interview when we interviewed Ram, and I was like, "Yeah, you don't want to do a Lancero because they don't sell." And he, I read his body language. Yep, moving on. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, it's uh, and and I, I don't know why that that that's never taken off, especially if you go to like a brick and mortar, and you're yeah. there to relax. Have yourself a Lancero. I could see if you're fishing, golfing, Lancero is not functional, but if you're going right. to a lounge. Uh, Lanceros is you owe it to yourself to go go through and and find some Lanceros uh, for sure. Uh, but anyway, in in regards to this, did I do wrapper binder filler? No, I didn't. No. Ra wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Rosado wrapper. Uh, binder and filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, I found this out of the my father offerings, and again, I'm comparing this in that line of La Bijou, the Connecticut, the Judge. You know that, you know tr traditional uh, my, my father line that they have. Uh, I'm digging the Rosado wrapper. My exposure to Rosado wrappers um, had come from uh, our Las Vegas trip uh, here in August. Not my initial introduction to them, but Paul. You know. Uh, I do a lot of behind the scenes stogie geek stuff with Paul still. Yeah. He does still exist. He's not a mythical creature. Right. Uh, and, and, and that, that was a rapper. Like I've been digging a lot of sticks with, with, with that was a rapper. So if you're familiar with the, my father line and my experience from my sphere of, I guess you could say how I take a poll from some of the consumers that I visit in local retail shops and whatnot, they tend to say, well, they, they're, they're kind of like all the same. It's just different shapes and sizes. And I'm like, yeah, I could see where there might be an argument like that, where, it, the, you know, um, some of them I follow the line uh, there. But, you know, especially if, if you're talking, uh, if you're talking like the La Beju, uh versus, uh, you know, the, the, the regular my father, the Ecuadorian um, yeah. Habano. But, you know, the La Bad the La Beju, you have an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro. Um, you have the My Father Connecticut, which is 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 a good uh, there. You have Ecuadorian Sumatra available in the Judge. Uh, there, yeah, yeah. My comment to them of them saying, you know, they kind of smoke all the same. It's just, you know, it's not so much okay. It's risotto. You got to pay attention. Is slow down your smoking, and you will really taste the different nuances. Uh, in what my, in what that my father line uh, has to offer, uh, they're under that my father umbrella. Um, they're in regular production. Uh, I got from that Rosado wrapper. I got an interesting sweetness um, that is is almost a little bit cedar, but if this makes sense, it's sweeter than a cedar. You mm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's a, it's a little bit sweeter. Um, it, it's, it's a barely medium stick, super tasty, constructed well, burns well, uh, definitely get these sticks. I, 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 I'd, I'd go box worthy, uh, for, for this particular stick, um, there, um, simply because I've been on a risotto wrapper kick, uh, there, but you're going to get a little bit of, of sweet cedar. Um, so sweeter than cedar, um, yeah. which you're going to get some nat. What I like about my father is you get old school, natural tobacco flavor. I know we're smoking yeah. tobacco, but you get that really old school Nicaraguan as opposed to that pepper in your face Nicaraguan that has tem tend to come from this Nicaraguan boom uh, there. And, you know, get a little bit of red pepper, but uh, again, it's 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 a barely medium stick. 
if you're new to new to cigars, you you would probably classify it as a uh, medium. Uh, ironically, it didn't get r- super cool uh, scores um, there, and and I I don't know. Uh, maybe the people reviewing it don't like old school tobacco, and they automatically mm-hmm. assume that you know it's Nicaragua Nicaragua is supposed to have that punch. It doesn't have that punch. It's just there in in that background, kind of relaxing with that old school flavor, which. Uh, I think is is a good change um, for yeah. sure, as opposed to getting the the classic Nicaraguan pepper fla- uh, flavor bombs, if you will. Right, right. Yeah, no, the, that my father uh, lineup, man. I, I'll tell you, I, I started uh, with the Connecticut's on uh, when I started smoking their 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 facings, and then from there uh, went into some of their. Uh, I mean, I really can't really say too much heavy body, but man, there's some medium bodies there that uh that in my mind uh like the the judge uh there was a i can't remember that I, but anyhow uh yeah it was the judge but there was some another one as well that i had and uh matter of fact i got a few in my humidor at home uh that i'm looking forward to getting to uh but yeah that that cigar there is definitely consistent and and being uh not too overly peppery so that's one thing about their right. cigars that i do enjoy uh, and I know a lot of my friends enjoy because it's it's not it 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 doesn't have all that you know uh, white black you know green pepper. <laughs> yep. So uh, so yeah, and then uh, is it so? Let me ask you this question, Joe. Uh, for and also possibly for our listeners. So are all of their cigars box pressed? Oh, uh, I would. I would I, or they come out looking like they're. Box pressed or is Spanish a, box pressed? That's a good I question. Um, I know they weren't when they originally came out. You're talking about the, the latest releases, like for the past yeah, the three releases. or four yeah. four years. Uh, I'm going to the last. Uh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, last. Uh, the last what? I'm sorry. The, the last four years, yeah. More particularly, in the last four years. Yeah, they 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 have a, a, a pressed element to them. Yeah. Yeah, but. If if you're going with the yeah, uh, my official answer is depends on size, right? If you're going Lancero, no, right? No, no, my father no. Lanceros are a boatload of fun, uh, great ratings to go and mm. get those. If you don't have them in your retail shop and you go online, you can pick them up at super cool prices for sure. Um, okay. But the, yeah, the, so it, it depends on size. Most of the regular Toro type stuff uh, does have a boxed feel element to it, yeah. whether it be Spanish, full box press, whichever. But no, the, it, it depends. If, if you're getting a torpedo, it's kind of like a squish torpedo a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah. I, yeah. No, it just must be my brick and mortar that I go to over at Prestige because, I mean, I see all my the my father lineup and, and they all look like they're all just box press, Spanish press, and uh, for some reason when I go to other shops, I, I don't I don't know why I don't gravitate over there and just take a look, but uh, just 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 wanted to know if you had any. Yeah, if, if you get some land sales, they're not box pressed. Uh, the Robustos, yeah, sure. the Robustos aren't, but most of the like your Toro type size, you're not Churchill, but. Um, Torpedo. It has torpedo, a slight yeah. box press element to it. Okay. You know? Yeah, I just I'm just not getting them here on the in the in, in here in Texas then, and it just. <laughs> well, you also got to figure from a, you bring up a good point, because because I was going to end the segment with the retailers kind of corner there with you know mm-hmm. the, the 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 newest stuff that when my, when my father comes out there. They're they're all lined up. They're obviously with shelf talkers and all of that stuff uh-huh. uh, there too. And 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 so if it's a retailer, and they put them all there, and they're all going for their, you know, and I'm making it up. Uh, sales rep comes in, says for you to get into a my father line, you need robusto toro churchill. Uh, you need at least three facings. Sometimes it's at least five facings. Uh, they all tend to be pressed. And that's what they're what they're pushing there. They're never gonna like a a, a, a good sales rep uh, who knows his target audience. Not gonna say, you know, we got these Lanceros and they're not pressed. Uh, right. However, they're really not gonna do well. You know what right. I mean? Uh, although <laughs> although if you're a stogie geek, you should probably get your hands on some of my father Lanceros because you're not gonna be disappointed. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I and I think this is off the top of my head that my father has a Lancero box that has 
the different offerings as well. But unfortunately, uh, and again, if you're a retailer, you're not going to buy 10 boxes, have them sit there. You're going to get which, what, what pushes and what goes out has a shelf talker. They make a great deal for them and away they go. So, yeah. So, you know, exactly. that, that, that's my opinion for, uh, from there. From also from a retail perspective, they do very well. They are a staple uh, product. You know what I mean? Um, you know, they're, they're there. If they're not a type of shop that can carry a Davidoff, but if they have my father's, I'm assuming that they have Ashton's and Camacho's and some of the staple brands that are out there. Uh, there. I also think it would be regionally specific as well. Yeah. You know, one thing I noticed is that when you go travel down to South Florida, like J.C. Newman is alive and well in South mm. Florida, as opposed to, again, when they came up here as sponsor Story Geeks, shined a little bit of spotlight on there. Yeah. Like, you know, you go down to South Florida and La Cruz de Reyes are, are banging. And that sun-grown La Cruz de Reyes is, is, is just an amazing smoke. You know what right, I mean? Yeah. And again, doesn't break the bank, but you know, uh, it it would be re uh, regionally and unfortunately depend on the sales rep. Yeah, you most, know, most which definitely. is going to be just a prequel, the pivot to our ambassador conversation that I'm trying to get together about why some of these retailers are uh, considering bringing. I'm sorry, why some of these manufacturers are starting to consider bringing back some of the ambassador program. There's been some interesting news that I have uh, divulged as to why some of them have gotten rid of the ambassador program. And um, I'm not pleased at mm. some of the reasons why. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that there. I'm assuming that's going to be in the January time frame, just judging how we're going to not be doing Story Geeks the day after Thanksgiving. So that gives us three shows in November. Yeah. Uh, holiday Christmas schedule is just starting to come out here at Security Weekly. So I'm assuming that's going to give us maybe two or three shows. Uh, so looking at the rest of the year, I'm calling it seven, could be eight. But most likely could be six or seven as I'm looking at the Fridays there. And I don't know what cadence Christmas and holidays come in. But, you know, I'm assuming we got three shows in November, three shows in December, call it. And then right. all of a sudden we're, we're, we're talking there, uh, which is great. It gives me a little bit more time to put together the collaboration of companies that don't like the ambassador program. And here's why. And the collaboration of companies that are looking to uh, bring their ambassador program back, which I think that you need both social media and the ambassador program. But oh, that, yeah. that's just my opinion. Oh, yeah. No, I agree with that because I, I talked to a lot of the reps here in Texas and at the show, which is at last weekend over at Lake Worth, Lake Worth Cigars. And yeah, they were saying that they're, uh, the ambassador, uh, uh, you know, is pivotal, you know, in their, in, you know, in their business, you know. Uh, you know, for them to go visit shops because the sales rep can't always be at, you know, the same place, same time, of course, you know, he's, he's got to use his time wisely. Yep. So they have the ambassador out there to, to, to uh, not only tout the brands, but also, you know, uh, you know, get everybody, you know, primed up, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. And, and also the customers too, you know, get a feel for what your customers are, the data, the metadata that's there. I mean, yeah, we, you get a lot of that, uh, you know, through the social media platforms, but you you really get a sense when you're talking with someone face to face, or, or a group of people face to face, and 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 you can get some really good uh, information there and, and and translate it to your to to the company for yep. sure. Added to my cigar resume, I was a brand ambassador for Altadis. Hmm. So we're talking 2012, 13, 12, 2012, 2013, a little bit of 2014 time frame. Wow. I was a brand ambassador for 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 Altus, and and and, and I I loved it. Like I, it, it it's a super cool program for those that put it together right. Um, mm -hmm. You got to remember twenty twelve thirteen fourteen, uh, whether you were in cybersecurity or not, we were still on Facebook, but it wasn't leveraged, or social media, uh, it wasn't leveraged to the point that it is today. Yeah, what what's uh you got a story geeks cup, right? I, I when I saw a flash, what what, what did, look at that. You got story geek swag. I, I, I felt neglected 
Uh, so I poured my security weekly swag over here. You know, where did you get that? You had that done? It's a Yeti. It's a Yeti. And I got some, uh, yeah. So I had a guy uh, put some stuff on there. True. So you know, cool. you know a guy. You, you you know a guy. You got your Story Geeks banner. You got your, your Story Geeks cup. I, I actually had a different rocks class when I was yeah. pouring my Lagavulin. Uh, yeah. For the show, and when I saw the glimpse of yours on your desk, I ran and got the Security Weekly one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, right, right now, I'm, right now, right now, I'm cashing in all my all my favors that people owe me, and like they haven't talked to me in over a year, but they're like, oh yeah, 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 we. Yeah, we let, can let's, do that. let's do this for you. You got something? Let let me do it for you. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So, uh, anyway, Drew, uh, anything you want to add to this segment? No, I think we're good. I mean, you know, we're looking forward. I think, uh, uh, you know, next week's show, is it next week? Week after. We are, week after. Yeah, well, our next show will be, I think it's the 7th. Is that, is that, is that right, Johnny? 7th? 8th. Yes. Yeah. Next show will be November 8th. For still November years. 8th, yes. yes. So I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, uh, other than that, uh, I think I'll be in Miami uh, at that time. So... Uh, so I'll be doing some stuff from over there. Uh, I may be in San Diego uh, the following week, just because there's a lot of things going on in California. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, and my day job is the uh, I work in the insurance industry, so there's a lot of property loss. California is getting hit very hard right now with this. What's going on with stuff. the weather over there? It's like pretty rowdy. Like it's it's unseasonal. Oh, it's fire. You got a tornado. Stuff, I know that. Well, here in Texas, yeah, tornado and rains and things of that nature, and then in California, just all the wildfires that are going on right now, and they're, you know, they're, they're, there's multiple ideas how they got started or what have you, but it's just, man, it's right now, it's, it's industry's getting hit pretty good. So. Industry's getting hit pretty good. Keep the sticks flowing. That's right. And Stoy Geeks, Drew and I will see you November eighth. It was see, a pleasure I... and an honor, and I want to thank Ram Rodriguez for his interview as well. Drew, we'll catch you next time. Stoke Geeks listeners, we'll see you next time.